Go crazy, berserker. I killed it. It's murder. Go crazy, berserker. I killed it. It's murder. Go crazy, berserker. I killed it. It's murder. Go crazy, berserker. I killed it. Your mom looks like Kim Jong-un. I know I say that too often, but I like it. I like it. What's going on, Colt? Good to see you, bro. Number one, BB coming in at number two. Jonathan Tesh coming in at number three. James White coming in at number four. Doug Singer asking for help. I was able to glance over your question really quick at number five. You need to contact support. It sounds like... Uh, they gave you a bogey for a disconnect. Um, but good to see you five. I appreciate you. And we got Robert McBain. Uh, Jet suck, suck, suck. Nick Adams, what's going on? Good to see you. And he also gives good advice to you, Doug. And Brian Schultz, what's going on, guys? We don't have a top ten yet, but that's okay. Billy, Billy. Billy, Billy. Giant Horse, what's going on? Good to see you. Let's get started. I kind of like that. I don't have to scroll and have the thing, you know, jumping around and everything and take 10 minutes for an introduction. Here we are, four and a half minutes in, and uh, we're playing the first hole. Who'd have thought it? Who'd have thunk it? Okay. This is not a promising sign, though. Waiting for them to rejoin, but my ball won't even spin. All right, let's see here. I just, I don't get this. It looks nothing like, just doesn't look like it's going to go in. But 
fifteen percent. We'll go nine and a half ish. I I really have a feeling it's gonna be short. Yeah, the game is laggy too. What is going on with that? You can kind of see it's like robotic with the picture. Okay, well, the ball guide certainly didn't show it going anywhere near the pin, but we got to trust the adjust. What's going on, Justin Judy? South Klopp, what's going on? All right. What is this? This is like so weird. Is is anyone else's game acting up? Ricky Bedem, four ninety nine. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you. Let's get a little fun in here while the game screw it up. Hey, we got an announcement to make. Attention, Kmart shoppers. Attention, Kmart shoppers. Ricky Bedham just donated $4.99 in the appliance section. Please safely make your way over to the appliance section to take advantage of these killer deals. Thank you, Kmart shoppers. And of course, thank you, Ricky Bedham. Appreciate you, bro. Thanks a lot. I need like an explosion graphic or something. That just, it doesn't, there's like no way to say thank you. Thank you. Indiana Malt, what's going on, buddy? Corey Haddon, thanks for the good luck. Awesome to have you here. My pants are laggy. Oh, you guys remember the Kmart commercial? Mike Oxmall, Oxmall what's up? Shit my pants. I can ship my pants. <laughs> yeah, I just ship my pants. And it's not S-H-I-T, it's S-H-I-P. It was a funny commercial. I liked it. Who would have thought that was them grasping at straws trying to save their company, you know? I just shit my pants. All right. Definitely going to need a little bit of curl. Going to need a little more backspin, too. 6.1 plus, this is like 10% at max. Let's just call it 6.5. Don't need much curl. Great. Great is not good, but as long as we avoid the sand. Okay. I know it's just a shootout hole, but, you know, I'm trying to get practice. Like I said, my my pro account that I'm doing, my God, how did we just jump from like 10 people to 29 people? <laughs> Welcome everyone who's just coming in. We still doing football. What do you mean, talking about football? Um, We still doing football, bro. Um, Not sure. Can you elaborate on that for me, bud? Indiana Malt, my God. Blast from the past. Awesome to see you, man. <laughs> Giant Horse says, 100 bucks if you put the big booty anime girls at the bottom, just like your nephew was saying. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, 100 bucks. Nah. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I could do that. I'd, I'd like to do that. Uh, I'd like to make you guys happy, but... We get kids watching, um, especially my buddy. Uh, one second here. I just had a brain fart. I'd have to find something clean because, you know, I got my buddy Wyatt with Aaron Stuckey and a couple other people, you know, tell me, hey, will you shout out to my kid or something? But uh, I get your sense of humor. I like it. <laughs> Extra mile tight and big dog. So we need, first of all, perfect would be nice. But we do need a power three ball here. And somehow, some way, I have no idea how or no idea way, 
that don't even make sense, but my account made it. My expert account with minus 10. On day three of all days. So I will take that. All right, so we're going to go full right spin. No top spin or back spin should be needed, but we are going to push back up. I'm going to go about half of the orange ring there. 6.4, got to remember the, this is 10%, but this isn't quite as accurate. So 6.4, we're going to go three rings, almost three rings, which is 7.4. And then we're going to make sure it's all the way up. No overpower, but full curl for the lower level extra Mario players. And we hit great left. The one thing we did not want to do. Glad that we put half of the orange ring. Um, man, I'm spraying it while I'm saying it. Uh, glad we put half of the orange ring on the rough instead of uh, going yellow to the rough. Because we do have enough curl and side spin to avoid that. Oh, oh, Ricky. Um, I got rid of all those. Uh, a couple people were saying they were gimmicky. And in all honesty, I kind of agreed a little. But it wasn't so much the gimmicky thing that got me. It was the fact that like, I just felt like a change was needed. And... I, you know, like at the time, the voice changer seemed like it would be a good route to go. But, you know, the voice changer could get annoying, just like, you know, to a lot of people in the stream were saying it was annoying to to watch football or to watch monkeys or whatever. Um, but, I mean, I, I can always put a key bind up there. I can't do it now, but... I can always put a key bind up there and just not use it. And if someone requests it, I'll play it for them. It's the least I could do. But I try to make the attention Kmart shoppers or whatever pops in my head at the moment. You know, just I, I want to make you smile, want to make you laugh, want to thank you. Uh, a little over two, but not much. It's amazing. The needle moves slower in pro, but I ain't any better at hitting perfects. Go figure. Didn't need that top spin. But it didn't kill us. Bear, what's up, man? No more egg ball talk. Widescreen is awesome. Deal with it. I'm kidding. Sorta. <laughs> oh, man. I hear you, Ricky. Uh, you know, I just kind of looked at it, though, as, you know what? I'm slipping. Oh, yikes. I'm slipping. If I can't think of something else more creative and better than that, then I have real problems, you know? But at the same time, I probably shouldn't have taken the other ones off until I had something better. So I might bring them back. I didn't delete them off my computer. But if I do bring them back, it'll be with the sole intention of coming up with something better. And as soon as, you know, as soon as I can figure what can I do that's better than this, implement it. What's going on, Hank Glover? Good to see you, man. Hell yeah, I think RJ's awesome. <laughs> Seth Parker, what's going on, buddy? The shape of your ball is like a football. That's so weird. I don't see that. I wonder... Wyatt. Is Wyatt in here? Did I miss... Uh... What's going on, Neil? Perfect shot. I didn't see Aaron Stuckey. Good luck, my friend. All right. Moving on to hole three. A hole we screwed up on pretty bad. Especially last tournament because I forgot to put the back spin on. But since we know what we're doing here, we should be okay. Uh, Got to stay with the power three ball. 
Let's do it. Thanks, Ricky. I appreciate you, bro. Timmy Carroll's. Uh, let's see. Please tell James my wife lost her account and I lost two accounts. She's in the box, made opening, but lost the count. I will definitely try to remember that. Timmy, if you can't shoot me a message over on uh, on Messenger, um, that would help me remember because, I mean, my memory is just awful. Sweet is better than football or crabs impossible unless you show us. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, Krabs got ruined by the guy who invented it. I'm still mad at him about that. How are you going to brag that something is copyright free? All you have to do is give credit in the description. I did that. And then all of a sudden he's like, nah, I changed my mind. I want to I wanna copyright it. So that means if I ever find any other copyright free music on YouTube that I'd like to use, I'm not going to use it. Because at any time they could change their mind and I'm in trouble. Uh, not playing expert tonight, uh, BB. Uh, tomorrow I'll be playing expert pro today. Hank Glover, looks like a ball to me. Paul uh, Cerrone says good luck with the eggs. Uh, the eggs, I'm trying really hard to make the eggs not look like eggs so much, but I want it to be big too, you know. Um. Ooh, good is not good. Why do they call it good? Unless, maybe, stop, slow, you roll. You know, a razor shot from there isn't awful. Hmm. Jens B, what's going on? I did keep that button. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Sweet is. Thank you very much. Appreciate ya. Is it, am I saying it right? Souse or Scouse Clop? Thank you so much for stopping in. I appreciate it. Uh, we definitely can't have us skipping over Colt's comment. I'm sorry, buddy. I will look for that right after this. And this sucks. A little bit. Uh, we're kind of relying on like a, a fringe glitch here. Which is very scary, but we're going to try it. Pulled the trigger just a little too soon and got the drop anyway. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, yeah, buddy. You see that shot? Oh, that was so good, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, where did I miss? If you want to make me happy, how about a mod holiday pay bonus? Two years... Zero bonus, boss man. You know, we've been tightening our belt around here, Colton. You're a valued employee, and, uh... Okay, how about I give you... Great shot. You're, you're actually awesome. How about I give you a 93% bonus? That would be the biggest bonus I've ever given anyone. Oh, crap. I left my dog outside. Sorry, dude. You were so quiet. I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't be so quiet. Be right back. Nico Brawley, ain't seen you in a while. 
Yeah, I go to a hundred, but you know the 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 guys in the in the counting. <laughs> I'm going to have a hard time explaining 93%. But as soon as I n drop your name, they'll be like, all right. Okay. One sheet down temporarily. One sheet to go with the katana. We're not switching clubs. We're switching balls. Let's do this. I was wondering what that meant. I know NWA was a rap group back in the day. I thought maybe the Y meant like Yankee. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I can't say the word or I'll get demonetized. Oops. Even if I put an A after it. <laughs> Let's see here. Hola. What's going on? Good to see you. I'm doing pretty good, Nico. How you been doing? Jens B. Awesome to see you, bud. Hey, dude, come here. Let me let me give you some rubs. I'm sorry, pup. It's a good thing it's not freezing, freezing out there, huh? Good thing I forgot to get your hair cut, too. You gotta bark. You gotta let me know. Sometimes it's okay to bark. Like, you know, when someone wants to break in and hurt us, or if you're standing outside for longer than, you know, the normal time. Yeah, you could handle that. Gerald Mack, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Awesome. Well, I appreciate the support, Nico. Okay. Ten percent of five point eight. Will be about that. No reason for curl, just gotta hit perfect. Great shot. <laughs> I mean, even if I would have hit perfect, there's no guarantee it was going to go in. Uh, yeah, speaking of work, my daughter uh, just got a job for one of the... Well, didn't just get the job. She's been working there for a little bit now. For one of the major, uh, you know, like shipping people. And uh, she got employee of the month. She was telling me about that earlier today. Very proud of her. She's doing like a man's job. Um, you know, loading the, the, the boxes onto the trucks and stuff like that. And they have like little wrist scanners that you use when you're doing things. And, uh, you know, I guess she's outperforming a lot of guys doing the same job and, yeah, I'm just, I'm really proud of her. She's not, she's really tiny thing too, but she's strong. All right. Just got to share my proud papa moment. Because that is what I am. I'm a proud papa. On the shootout, of course, we hit perfect. I have no idea if this adjustment's correct, but we hit perfect on the shootout. Same result. Easy puttable ball, if it were. What link were you trying to post, Jen? I don't know why YouTube does it, but they only let mods... Uh, post it. What's going on, Boomer? RJ, you can call me G Dog Money Rat for the rest of the stream. 93%. That's YouTube money there. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, my boy, uh, my boy G Dog Money Rat. 
You play around yet, Boomer? What's up, Mark Adder? I'm doing okay so far. I'm definitely not going to be challenging for gold. <laughs> but that's okay. You know, I'm using my notes. I'm using these clubs for the first time. Well, probably for like the fifth time because I've had so many accounts that I built up over time before. But you know what I mean. Hole number five. Extra mile with the Guardian. Power three ball again. Let's go. So you guys are always so worried about my aspartame intake. But one thing you don't know, because I have such small hands, this is actually a 20-ounce bottle. It's because my hands are so small. It looks like a uh, 1.25 liter bottle. Or for those of you across overseas, it may look like a 1.32 quart bottle. So here's my question to you guys. What do you think about the big surprise? Are you excited about it? Are you let down? Are you right in the middle? Like you don't care. You do, you do care. You're, you're, you know, I'm just curious, like, you know, the big announcement for 1212 is what I'm referring to. How do you guys feel about that? Let's see here. Uh, from what I understand, Lamar is good to go. He's playing. And what that means is because they are contending for the Super Bowl and playing the lowly Jets, um, you know, I would say he's, he's definitely healthy. They're not going to put him in a situation where he could be iffy, he could possibly get hurt, um, you know, rather easily or make the injury worse um, against a team like the Jets. And even after the Jets, against a team like the Browns, they've been playing so good, I just can't see them risking it. Okay. So, yeah, he's playing tonight, and they're good to go. And even without Lamar Jackson, I think they beat the Jets. Now, here, I don't like where my ball guide is showing that it's going to end up a little further than I would like. I, I could have moved it over some more, but I made a mistake. Um, I made a mistake yesterday, I think it was. Or the day before, can't remember which one it was. Maybe it was on my pro, the pro qualifying, where I misjudged the distance and I hit the rough. And because I had like ninety percent backspin or whatever you know it is for the club here, um, I uh, I stayed in the rough, so I wanted to play it a little safer. What's up, Lupin Madman? Johnny Be Good, what's up, man? Well, nobody asked, but I will give my opinion. And my opinion is, I think it's a huge letdown. Um, I mean, the UFC is cool and all, but I could care less if they sponsor a ball. 
I thought that it was going to be an event. I thought it was going to be something everyone was going to have an option to partake in, like I said, like a mini tournament. And I mean, even if I'm a ball, if I'm a ball collector, I probably buy it. But yeah, the stats, someone had posted on Facebook. I didn't want to give it a thumbs up or start any trouble or anything like that, but I agreed with them. You know, and they said, I think we've had enough of the power four balls, you know, this, that, and the other. We need some win zero, I'm sorry, win five power zero balls. And even so, yeah, Colt, I feel you, man. I I didn't want to see something that I had to buy. That's not like something I would tease like that, you know. Now, if they had something else that was UFC, um, you know, and there was a UFC ball, then that would be cool. Like maybe the next tournament would that they were going to announce today would be the UFC tournament and you got to kind of golf around people slugging it out with each other. I don't know. I'm just saying that, you know, I was expecting um, something free for the community, uh, some slight change of the game, even if only for like a week or a day or something like that. And to see that it's something you have to purchase was just like, uh, thanks, but no thanks. And I, I hope I don't sound greedy by saying that. I'm not trying to, I don't know. It's like, imagine if I tease something special for my channel. You know, make sure you're here. You're going to want to be here for this. Can you guys guess what it is? It's not, I'm not using the same wording as them or anything, but... You know, I tease something over social media to get the word out. And I'm like, okay, here it is, guys. If you donate me at least $1, you get a special voice. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I, I think you guys would be like, uh, we were kind of hoping for a giveaway or um, I'm going to go Katana here. No, I'm going to not go cheap at all and go Kingmaker. It just, I don't know. It, it don't seem, it's not shady. It's just a letdown, in my opinion. All right, we can't hit great right. But we can't hit perfect, I hope. Nice. Nice. Away from the sand. That's how I like it, baby. They have a contest for... Okay, I didn't see that. Okay, well, that's cool then. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Adam 12, I don't think that's possible. I know a lot of people have been talking about a driving range. The driving range would actually be pretty gosh darn cool. If you're like me and you can't hit perfect as often as you want, you know, instead of committing to a game or playing friendlies or what, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. You know, I think there, there are other things, you know, that they could add. But that... One thing I'd really like to see them add, though. All right, Colt said, don't go too close to the right side or it'll end up in the rough. But I am going to actually go super close to the left side or right side because of the wind. And I'm going to under adjust just a little bit for the wind here. 5.1. All right, I'm just going to adjust for four miles per hour. Put the slightest, tiniest bit of curl on. And not hit perfect right. I mean, great right. And can we come into the rightish side of the cup? Or preferably right down the middle. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. I feel like if I would have doubled that curl, I still would have been far enough away from the tree. Neil Monroe, five bucks. Thank you very much, man. Good luck, RJ. Oh, I got to read it in the voice. 
Good luck, RJ. Keep up the good work. Because if you don't, you will be playing a game. You will be playing a game because you have made some bad decisions in your life. We're going to see just how loyal you are. Will you use the key that I put inside your dog to save? This is getting dark. Wait a minute. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheaper balls. John, one thing I 100% agree with you with the cheaper balls. I think that the the price for Kingmakers is outrageous. I almost feel like if like they should offer a premium ball or maybe a junior type premium ball for what they charge for the Kingmakers. The price jump is just insane. And what that means is the only people that could really get Kingmakers are people... I don't know what you get in Pro for coming in first, second, third, or whatever. But you got to definitely come in like the top three or top ten or something to get your Kingmakers back if you use all Kingmakers in a tournament. Yeah, that's why I stopped, Colt. It definitely got a little dark there, didn't it? Let's see. I have a bad habit of doing that. We're going to go with a Quasar, Which is a cheaper ball. See, look at this. Okay, so for your Quasar and your Navigators, let's just... It's the same price whether you buy 9 balls, 45 balls, or 180 balls, right? So 60 gems for 9 balls. Same price for the Navigator. Yep. Marlin is the cheapest at 25. And then we jump up to the Titan. It doubles. 180 for nine balls. I'm okay. Well, 60 actually. Was it 60 or 90? It was 60. It more than doubles. It goes from 60 to 180 for both the Titan and the Katana. Then you have your freaking Kingmaker. 650 gems. For nine balls. 650. 650. Why? Uh, it's not my game. I don't know how they make money. I'm glad that they do what they do. I'm not going to. I'm not going to go there with them. Because. You know. If they don't make money. Uh, what's up Raymond? If they don't make money, then there's no game to play. Then they don't do updates or whatever. But I just feel like that's a lot of gems for Kingmakers. Yeah, you're 100% right. I want to call you Colt, but I forgot what I was supposed to. Something like G Money Rat YouTube or something like that. Looping Madman knows his golf balls. Uh, Judley, yes, and experience as well. This this tournament here is a little bit more experience. Uh, I also watch Tommy as well, but um, you know I I didn't pay money for these notes or anything. Like this shot that I'm about to take right now is a shot I would never take. I've always taken it from the left side, um, but. For the most part, I'm playing these holes the way that I guess the way I guess I would teach it. I didn't have enough time. I know I adjusted for uh, maximum oh, rings shot. instead of minimum. How much was I, I was off by about a ring? So we should. Oh, wow. I, I was off by more than a ring.
Yeah, 650 is just insane in my opinion. To go from 160 to 650 for nine balls, I'd like to know what that percentage is. It's like a three or four hundred percent price jump. Um, I understand going from, you know, 60 for the Navigators and the, um, the Quasars to the Titans and the Katanas. Although it would be cool, like if, in my opinion, this is just my opinion. They could pull me in, be like, RJ, this is why it's done. Without this, we couldn't have this. And it could be completely right. I'm just giving my opinion. I'm not trying to be a sourpuss here or anything like that. What's up, Don Abels? <laughs> I'm surprised it's a UFC ball and not like the Dana White ball. <laughs> going on Daniel Scott oh you're in the opening round good luck bro are you talking about for this account or for the expert one Colt I, I kind of agree with you but because we know the wind direction and everything else we can dial down especially our par threes all the way to you know put the red ring by the rough four side spin one back shots like that like i feel like if you have notes you're gonna drop more hole in ones than just going by memory um but hey maybe your memory's 10 times better than mine but as far as the power fours and the power fives Completely agree and understand with you know exactly what you're talking about. Um, but one thing I also like to do is I like to have my bags pre-made before the tournament, um, just to make it go quicker, you know, and everything. So um, I don't know. That's just my my little take on it. My take is not your take. My take is my take. All right, so. See, like, obviously the shootouts, there's no notes for. Because you never know which direction the wind's going to blow or any of that stuff. But, you know, if I were to take that shot ten different times, I'm sure I could dial it in. And get it closer to the hole is all I'm saying. All right. Here we're going to... This hole has been a nightmare for me. Gonna go berserker. We tried this twice. The first time... I hit it perfectly, but a hundred overpower, even with just an extra mile six, proved to be a little too much. And we rolled out and like into the sand on the other side of the green or something like that. And then I took a little off and I hit it great right. And if you're going to hit this one great, you're going to want to hit it great left because on the right side of the fairway, the rough is thicker. It goes from thick and then it goes down to thin. But when you go back to like 100%, or in my case, I'm going to go to like 90% over power. Uh, you know, I'm even half tempted. Nah, I'm not going to do the rough bump. I would do the rough. I'm doing the rough bump in expert. Um, because there's a headwind. But with a tailwind, we'll get this down. 15% elevation. Oh, Daniel Scott, I'm so sorry. I thought you were saying you were in it. Thank you. Good luck to you as well, buddy. <laughs> yeah, Colt, can you tell us where those where they where they're at? Where they at? Quite a few times, huh? <laughs> 
Like when I read something, I think I tell you guys all the time, I'll add a letter or whatever. And like, I just read it and I, I read it as, um, you know, as the sentence it was supposed to be. Daffy Duck says, I pay five bucks for the golden shot for Kingmakers. That's not a bad buy whatsoever. Um, I, I do the hard golden shot, but I mean, I definitely hear you on that. You know, I think that um, Kingmakers are very important. I just, you get so much more if you go hard, but you don't get Kingmakers, and that's a great way to get Kingmakers. So, um, okay, now if we can hit, we can hit great right or great left. Put a little bit of curl on. Oh, take a little bit off. Okay, this time we hit great left. So as long as we hit the fairway, which we didn't. <laughs> Thank God we didn't go in the water, the water, water. But if we would have hit the fairway, we would have cruised over the rough because it's thinner on that side. So, and the water, the water would have just been. Ah. Twenty nine in your pro account. Very good. What's up, Michael Gall? It's awesome to see you. Paul Shizimu. Love the use of the emojis. Can't believe I still almost missed it. How you doing, buddy? Who oh who has been texting me? Oh who oh who has it been? God, my Wi Fi sucks. He got the eagle. Can we get the eagle? Probably not. All right. I'm I'm not going to stretch it out and look look. I'm just going to assume this is minimum distance. I don't think it's medium. 6.7 actually I'm going to go closer to mid. Still got to hit perfect, though. Okay. Is is it correct? Ha-sha! Wax on! Wax off! Ha! <laughs> that felt good. That was not a shot that I expected to make. Danielson, you know paint the fence. You know the wax on, the wax off. But do you know, hit the ball out of the river into the hole. I, I can't do the good accent, man. Mr. Miyagi, Pat, Pat Morita. Was it Morita or Mahita? God, that was an awesome guy. Love that guy. Like, I seen him do his stand-up comedy. I think it was his first ever stand-up comedy on YouTube. Perfect. What a lovable guy. RJ, you're only saying that because you just used a racist accent. <laughs> you know, even Pat Mahita, is it Mahita or Marita? Mahita didn't talk like that. He used, he like had to do that accent. Just saying, you know, little, little known fact. He speaks much better English than that. So if he can do it, why can't I do it? Gosh darn it. It's my civil liberty. Perfect and it shot. makes for a heck of a movie. Anyone know when Cobra Kai, the next season's coming out? It's been a while. That's gonna that's coming in hot. says you pay that you play that 20 percent with the last hole i assume you're talking the drive i didn't play any percent on the chip in because it was so close to the hole i played it 15 percent all 
All right, now for the hole that should have cost me my mini expert round, but for some reason didn't. And we're going to go... I don't want to waste Berserkers where Berserkers aren't... We're going to go Titan. I think I was in... Uh, what is it? In Expert, we get a headwind. That doesn't mean we get a headwind on, on Pro. Although it does say Power 4 or Power 5 because of, you know, it, it's kind of a difficult second shot. Both shots are hard. It's a very skinny fairway. My club, just like our opponent's club here, we don't really have great uh, top spin. But I don't think I'm going to overpower this shot. I'd rather make the second shot just a little bit more difficult rather than have to, you know, hit it with the razor and not get anywhere close. Hey everyone, we got uh we got Pimp Smooth in here, aka Ian Ballinger. What's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Brad Hofton, I feel like I didn't say hi to you either. If there's anyone else I didn't say hi to and you said hi to me, please let me know. I didn't do it on purpose. No, I think you're good. Yep, widens out. <laughs> now you can get the albatross for me if I end up in the rough. <clears throat> 7 point5 plus 10 percent. We're looking at three and a half ish, not even. Like that. But then we want to push back up. Maybe we'll add a little overpower, but I'm not doing that full. Alright. Doink. 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 Dale Appleby. What's going on, buddy? Good to see you, bro. It's going pretty good. He went further, so he's going to be rewarded with not having to hop over the green, taking a much more direct shot right at the pin. Plus, he used a kingmaker, so the full right spin, if he wants to use it, is there. Me, on the other hand, I'm probably going to have to use some curl because I'm going to most likely land before the rough that his white ring is on, and that makes the second shot quite a bit harder. I've been very careful on um, my uh, use of topspin, and it's kind of hurt me. So I think I want to put more topspin on than what I'm used to. It hasn't hurt me like I've stayed on the fairway. Great shot. But, you know, I keep, I keep coming up short. And, you know, he came up kind of short there. So I might even go full topspin, not certain. But he can definitely make it from there. If I can get that close, I'd be happy. Now, see, technically, I can barely over... Now, you know what? How much... I'm not really getting close, but I don't have to over... Nah. I'm not going to go full. I'm going to go, like, three top spin. That's, like, full overpower, though. Yeah, we're going to go full top... I, I just... We got the top spin. Let's use it. 6.4. I'm going to move it over here more and just use more curl. We did get the perfect shot. Hopefully the wind doesn't do anything to our landing position. And I'm okay with being right there. We did use full top spin. We couldn't use any more. If I had more, I would have used it. And I didn't have to do the 100% overpower and worry about hitting a good ball into the water. It'll be... This is not a give me shot, but it's a heck of a lot better than a Malibu or a Razor. Leo Sinat, what's going on, buddy? DMT selfies, good to see you. 
Michael Gallitz, that's a heck of an idea. That is actually a heck of an idea. Bring the horizon, use six topspin with curl, you make the green. By golly? Why didn't I think of that? What's up, Michael Moss? Good to see you, brother. That is a heck of an idea. Although I have a lower level, you know, on purpose, I, I don't know what the distance is. I don't know if I get the 179 right off the bat or if, uh, you know, if I'm sitting around one, 169, 172, I'll have to check that. I know I don't have a 100 top spin, but that's okay. You said six. I am definitely going to try to get it in the hole. That's maximum. We're definitely not at minimum. I'm going to go two rings, which would be a medium. Actually, let's go a ring and a half. I know it's so tiny. Let's see where ring and a half puts us. All right. Perfect shot. I think we might come into the right anyway. That half ring, gosh darn it. Should have went to one ring. Even when you're in middle uh m yeah, mid range, the wedges are always different. There's no way to know what a true minimum shot is because you could literally hit the ball one inch. So one mistake got us at minus 13. We should be at minus 14. Let's take it back from the top and try this again. All right. First shot is that sniper shot. Can we... Oh, I wanted to take a look really quick at the horizon, see what kind of power my horizon has. I, I think I have enough for an upgrade, but I don't want to upgrade it, you know? Because most people in pro... So yeah, that's that's where our disconnect is. 173... Wait a minute, what's the big dog at this level? 177. So 173... 177 and 67 versus 74. Okay, so in that instance, in that one instance right there, the horizon would have been better for me because if you remember, I was not in full distance of the club. So that is very interesting. I am going to revisit this. I don't want to upgrade this to level four because um, I don't think most people in pro have a level four horizon. I'm going to keep my bag how it is for now, but that's that's a very interesting thought. Thank you for sharing that with me. We're going to bust out. Ooh, what do we get here? Not that it matters because I can't upgrade any of my clubs on this account. But gems are always welcome. With the gems, we definitely can uh, buy balls and such. Special offer. Did I look at my... There's no reason to, but... Go away, special offer. I already looked. Double check. We got the sniper in. We're going to go with a marlin here. I, I highly recommend we don't use a marlin. Uh, it's always good to cut down on the wind. But I'm using a marlin. <laughs> Trying to keep it cheap. I don't have gems. to. I'm probably going to be dumping most of the gems that I have on Titans. Because I don't have enough Titans to get to the weekend. Yeah, Michael. Uh, the sand bump. The sand bump scares me. Because where you got to land is really like your yellow center target is on the rough on both the front and the back of the sand, and that just scares me. But, I mean, if you're making that shot, that's absolutely amazing. You know, Colt, you're 100% right on that, because once I looked at it after I made the adjustment, I'm like, that's too far to the right. 
But I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to trust the rings. I've said that before. And honestly, I probably would have moved it too much to the left. I don't know. No, nah, I probably would have just cut the distance in half, and that probably would have went in the hole. You're right with the wedge, man. Sandra Simon, how you been? Thank you for the good luck. Minus 21 in fifth place. I hope that holds for you. Seth says, people in pro are mostly max. Um, that may be true, but because of my experience with the game and what I'm trying to do is kind of like having like a, a teaching moment, I feel like if I can do it with these clubs and people who are watching with max clubs should be able to also repeat what I'm doing but do so even better, if you know what I mean. I just, yes, there's entertainment value, but at the same time, I'm just, I don't know what I'm saying. That's short. That was perfect. We need more than uh, one in a smidge top spin. Dare I say we need two top spin. I'm going to change that now for the weekend round. Here, I, see, I got a pencil purposely. And it says 1.2, right? So then I take my pencil and I scribble out the one. And I'm like, you idiot, just erase the one. And what will that leave you with? Two, if you also erase the period. Accuracy only matters when you don't hit perfect. That has got to be the quote of the day. <laughs> Chip, yeah, what's going on, Kevac? Good to see you, bruh. What's going on, Irish Eyes? Thank you very much. Good luck to you and everyone else in here on your rounds. Hole number 11. The scary hole. The hole that never quite feels right. But I've been lucky thus far. The trick has been no top spin, full left spin, and I think I pushed up, but I'm not I, I'm not certain. I'll know when I'm doing it. And full left curl. And definitely want a power three ball. Oh, and half of the orange ring on the green there. Full left spin, no top spin, no back spin. And uh, now let's adjust 6.3. Maybe I'll push it up a ring, but I'm not going to push it all the way back up. I pushed it up one yard marker. Great uh, right. Feels safer than great left. Ooh, that was close. I probably should have pushed up uh, probably about three yards instead of one yard because that could have been that could have been ugly. Scott Moore, what's going on? Good to see you. Did I push up the first time? You know, everyone, Colt, everyone has different, you know, um, I don't know, just different skill levels and not playing an account for, for a while is also a good excuse. If my, uh, like if, if I haven't been playing, let's say I didn't play for a year or let's say I haven't played for, you know, months even. And I come back to the game, I'm probably going to play a pro round with even my my uh, APOC 5 just to get the rust off, you know, for one tournament. Um, I don't think that, you know, it's, it's really that big of a deal if you wanted to, uh, you know, try to take home the gold. 
I, I don't know what your clubs are, but I mean, like I said, even an extra mile five, I feel like I should go full top spin, but I'm not. Let's see if that's a mistake. I'm so spoiled by my extra mile, or not extra mile, my sniper 10 and everything, having that perfect ball guide. And, you know, I'm definitely going to hit that unless, you know, something catastrophic happens. But, yeah, one more top spin would have made it more of a putting ball. Very nice, Scott Moore. What's up, Omar Hofton? Minus 29 in expert on your main and minus 30 in pro and minus 31 on rookie. Going for another gold banner. I got gold the last tournament. Shot a minus 34 in expert. Awesome, bro. Good job. Damn, Raymond, you got an awesome memory. I feel like if I pushed up all the way, though, I don't know. I, I just kind of feel like that would have um, got me into the rough. Now, I put the full top spin on to try to limit how long I'm going to be in the air for. I'm going to aim at the... I'm aiming right in the middle of the left side of the cup and the pole. I hit great right, but I don't think that's going to hurt. The full top spin, for those of you who are new, if you have a club that has a lot of top spin... Uh, you know, especially a wedge is what I'm talking, the real short shots, put full top spin on and that lets you back up your shot and then you have to adjust for the wind less so than you would if, say, you didn't put any top spin on or if you put, like, full back spin on. Mark Ebrey, what's going on, bro? Was playing your front nine, missed an eagle on eight, but still have a minus 15. That's a heck of a lot better than me, man. My... My front nine was a minus 13 with one mistake, so it should have been a minus 14. Very nice. Look at this. You had the big dog. This guy's... Mem you know what? My notes say big dog. Damn, Raymond. Can, you want to trade memories? My memory sucks. Okay, so what happened last time? Last time, the ball traveled too far. That's not really something I can fix because you only have however much backspin you have. Um, so how can I play this next hole more carefully without going into the rough and needing a save, but also avoiding the rough bump. Maybe I put a little too much curl on it? The curl would extend it outward. I don't want to mess with the OP because I don't want to clip the rough and have to use a wedge way down there at the bottom. I don't know what I should do. I, I really just need like a better, a little more backspin. Like even one more bar of backspin, nah, maybe two bars of backspin would make this club perfect. Wesley Davis, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Michael Bolton, what's going on, bro? Ah, I get to be your bro again? Well, your Steelers beat my Browns. I thought that would have put a square, bro. <laughs> awesome to see you, buddy. How high up are you on your um on your subscriber count? I it would be really awesome for those of you who are golf clash lovers. To subscribe to Michael Bolton as he tries to hit 1,000 total subscribers. That would be absolutely amazing. Yeah, I definitely need as much curl. Great shot. I... 
Yep, I can't stop it. That's what it's going to come down to. Okay, okay. Well, we stayed on the fairway. So what I did is I just made it so I would hit further over on the left side of the fairway to give the ball more time to slow down. Michael Bolton has been at 726 subscribers, or is at 726 subscribers, and I am shocked. I am literally shocked that he has not yet hit 1,000. He is a very fun guy. He's a very nice guy. He does a lot for the community, especially if you're part of the 19th hole. Um, and I just, I, I can't recommend, I don't even want to say this, but... I can't recommend a Wolverine fan anymore, but even if he wasn't a Wolverine fan, even if he was, he hated the Browns and the Buckeyes with every fiber of his being, how cool this guy is makes up for that. And uh, I'd subscribe to him regardless. Even if he didn't like me, I would subscribe to him secretly. Sec I, I would make like a throwaway account because I wouldn't want it to pop up, you know. <laughs> He's a, he's a cool guy, and he definitely deserves the love. Check him out. If you've never checked out Michael Bolton, I know it would mean a lot to him. It would mean a lot to me. He's been a very good friend of mine. He's been in the mod squad forever, and uh, I, I just I'm, I can't wait to see the day that he hits 1,000. Even with a uh, end bringer or rapier, that wouldn't have went in. That was bad. Good night, Ian. Daniel Scott, 420 Golf Class Unity, just subscribed to Michael Bolton. That is freaking awesome, man. Thank you so much. You know, it, it would be awesome. Brian Walton says, I'm killing it right as I just missed that easy chip. I know what you mean, though. Timing's off. Um, I don't know, man. I tell you what. How can I... How can I make this interesting? I hate thinking of last minute things like this, but all right, here we go. This is a one time thing only. We got a smaller group in here, but that's okay. Cause you guys, you're my people. You're my people that are like, you know what? I don't care. I'm, I'm going to watch, our, you know, it's RJ TV regardless of the time, regardless of the date. And it means an awful lot to me. If you could get the word out, whether it's through social media or it's through, um, you know, just talking to your friends. Or if you have multiple YouTube accounts, if we can get Michael Bolton to 1000 before New Year's Day. So in 2020, I will dye my hair pink. Or whatever color you want it to be. And it'll stay that way for a whole tournament week. Which is seven days. Because there's seven days in a tournament. And I don't like messing with my hair. And if you want. Actually that's such a short time. I will dye my pink beard to match. Uh, pink. My beard pink to match it. Can you guys do it? Crap, can I get this shot off before time expires? Probably. It's just a shootout, bro. Right? I hope. Pink hair. Pink beard. 1,000 before, or before 2019. Pink eyebrows. Pink beard, pink hair. Before 2020. And shave the beard. Oh, <laughs> come on, ain't pink enough? 
Okay, better yet, let's get him to 1,000 and you guys get to pick what it is. I don't care if it's pink, orange, purple, shave the beard. I will shave the beard for Michael Bolton. He's worth it. I'll shave my eyebrows for Michael Bolton if that's what you want me to do. We just got to get him to 1,000 before 2020. I'll do it. He's worth it. He's a real one. He's a savage. All right, we're done with the first page. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. The shootout was a shootout, thankfully. And this is the actual one that counts. That would have been scary otherwise. Wesley Davis, you can make 200 accounts. If he hits 1,000, you guys get to pick the punishment. But there's one thing. I am going to strike a very awkward pose in the next five minutes, okay? I know that sounds weird, but you have to either take a screenshot or you have to, um, you know, take a picture with your phone or whatever, what have you. And that's how I know that you were here when we made the deal. Because if you weren't here, you don't get to make the decision of what happens to my to my pretty face. And I'll give you warning. I'll hold it for a couple moments. But, you know, I don't want someone who isn't here to be able to pick what the punishment is. Ah, something told me to put a tiny bit of curl on that. You know, I keep forgetting about that 1201 pull, Wesley Davis. Pink Am Hey, I'll do it. What, is, what do the Amish do? They get rid of the mustache or something, I think. Don't they get rid of the mustache? They just have the beard. Pink up top, pink here. Heck, I'll go pink here and orange here. You guys get to pick. I'm not even going to strike that weird of a pose. I, I assume everyone has had time to get their cameras if they're watching on TV. Or if you hit a tablet, you know how to do a screenshot. Just do a screenshot of this. West side, even though I don't care about the west side or the east side. There, whatever. One of the two. Take a screenshot of this. And that way I know that you were here. And if I know you're here... You get to ch you get to chime in with whatever the punishment is. <laughs> I just like I said, it ain't it isn't even about um you know it, it isn't about Like, I want everyone to subscribe, whether there's 120 people in here or whether there's, you know, eight people in here. But if you guys could somehow get something going, you know, just you don't even have to mention me. I'm not doing it to gain subscribers to myself. You could just say, let's get Michael Bolton up to, you know, 1000 subscribers. Don't mention my name. I don't want anything from this. I'm being dead serious. Don't be like, it's RJ TV. We'll shave his beard or will dye his hair or any of that. Let's just keep it 100% on Michael Bolton and you guys will get to reap the benefits because you were here while I made this offer. Yeah, he did. <laughs> um, You can send me the screenshot after he hits... 2,000, uh, or I'm sorry, 1,000 subs before 2020, you could send me the screenshot to itsrjtv at yahoo.com and just say who you are in YouTube so I can match the names together. And I will get together everyone who sent me this screenshot and we'll get you guys to all agree on one or, you know, at least come as close to an agreement as possible. 
and we'll make it happen. You guys won't be disappointed. I was disappointed. I woke up. I saw Michael Bolton had already streamed. He comes on a little bit earlier than, uh, you know, because I wake up with my son to take him to school. But, you know, uh, well, not take him to school because I teach him on this computer. Well, I don't teach him as teacher teach him, but I'm like his learning coach, whatever you want to call it. So I go back to sleep, pass out and everything, and I wasn't able to catch him. He was on prior to, but... When I can catch him, very entertaining guy. So you, it's win-win. You get to make a fool out of me, which I don't really mind. Although this one, I think, is a little over the top. But whatever, it's worth it. And you get to watch an awesome content creator. Not me, Michael Bolt. <laughs> I wouldn't say that about me. All right, Extra Mile Guardian... We want to be extra careful on that last shot. Titan. Might not need the Titan. I was right. Yeah, we don't need the Titan. I did this before with a uh, Navigator or a uh, Quasar, depending on the direction of the wind. Oh, Brian Walton, I'm so sorry to hear that, bud. Laura Sullivan. I love what she posts. Michael Bolton Sr. goes out of his way to help us. Let's help him now. Hey, RJ. Didn't get the screenshot. <laughs> Did you get it? Let me know if you got it. What's up, Big Mike? People are going to think I'm a gangster and they're going to come and do a drive-by shooting on my house. Please don't. It's just crab hands. I'm, I'm not... 18 anymore I live in the wrong neighborhood to walk down the street and do this so don't come here and post pictures of me doing that because I live on the east side that's a no-no <laughs> alright you got it awesome alright we do have a bit of head space Head spin. Head spin, yeah. <laughs> Headwind, but I think we can still take this shot, get up far enough, and be good for um, a Guardian shot. 7, 5, 10%. I'm okay with a great right shot. We should still hop over the rough, I would think. I would hope. Yep, bye-bye, rough. What's up, Fun and James? Oh, and here's another thing. Because you're here, you know what's going on. So if you didn't get the screenshot live, that's okay. Go back. Take note, uh, I've been on now for an hour and 23 minutes. Or if you could remember what hole I was on when I originally said it. I know I was at the beginning of the back nine. And you could, you know, you could take a screenshot that way as well. I don't care who has a screenshot. You know, it just lets me know that you watched. But yeah, James, yeah, I... I will get a punishment. I will get a makeover of the hair or shave eyebrows or go pink hair, orange beard for a whole tournament week. If we can get Michael Bolton to 1,000 subscribers before 2020. You guys get to decide what happens to me. You want my eyebrows one color, this one color, this one color, and this one color? It's up to you guys. Right, we're going to just call this close enough to max distance. I'm over adjusting a little just because with all this backspin, I don't want to get 
Because if I hit the rough with full backspin, it's just going to stick there. So I'm, I'm happy with that. I would go Michigan Wolverines Cup. I might puke in my mouth a little bit. But that would fit being with uh, Michael Bolton loving that team. Hey, if that's what I got to do. The Copper Princess may never watch me again, but uh, we'll definitely get him up to 1,000. And uh, while I don't want to lose a single, single viewer, uh, actually, I think she would take that as a joke. Uh, yeah, Don, that, that's one thing. Uh, since I'm playing with the Meatloaf account, uh, how would, how would Meatloaf say no to that? I would do anything for Mike, but I won't do that. <laughs> I won't put hot nuts in my mouth. I know I saw, uh, Jamie Blanco do like some test thing like that. And, uh, I was just like, Ooh, I was, I was watching that. I don't know how he and his wife did that. Thought it was awesome that his uh, was it his daughter or something was in on it. Um, yeah, I I can't do that because of medical reasons. I have GERD, you know. Uh, they thought I had Barrett's esophagus, which thank God I don't. Um, and uh, yeah, that would tear me up. Like I get heartburn so bad that I literally get. Um, what do you call it? Literally like get like bedridden type pain and suffering. It sucks. I can't do hot. I can do nasty foods. I mean, it, it wouldn't last a week, but if you want me to, you know, eat a can of sardines again or something like that, I'm not looking forward to it, but it's such a small price to pay for an excellent guy. To, to experience the 1,000. He's been, he should have been at 1,000 a little while ago. And I think that once you watch a stream or two of his, you, you'll be addicted. He cried like, oh, I think I didn't see it, but I think people did say they saw a tear running down his eye. Um... He handled it 20 times better than I could, even if I didn't have, uh, you know, the, the acid reflux and GERD and all that other stuff. Ah, I forgot I, well, no, I, uh, yeah, whatever. Um, I, I would have been crying tears. I, I, he talked, he was talking about like a Scoville rating. I have never in my life went to BW3s or any place like that. And had to sign a waiver for Atomic Wings. I, I don't have the hot nuts to do hot nuts. <laughs> That's just something I can't. That would. Because see the problem also. I mean I would put myself in pain for him. But that's why they thought I had Barrett's disease to begin with. Because the acid reflux was so bad that the scarring on the inside of my esophagus appeared to be Barrett's disease. But then they gave me uh, these pills. I got to take two heartburn pills every morning and every night, one in the morning, one at night, I mean. And yeah, that would, that would tear. I don't think you guys would want to hurt me that bad. <laughs> I don't think Michael Bolton would want me to go through that. It's like, are you kidding me for a thousand subscribers, RJ? You better drink some hot lava. Viper. Ah, the Titan. Yes. This hole scares me. Burp, excuse me. Ah, you guys see that? Michael Bolton says, I'll add to the ante of your punishment. If Michael Bolton, a well-known Michigan Wolverines fan, gets to a thousand before New Year's, in addition to what happens to me, he will do the O-H-I-O -O sign. Hopefully on video on his channel so everyone could see. I would think that's what he uh, would say. And hopefully it stays there as well. That would be awesome. So 
So you'd have an Ohio State fan flashing Michigan, possibly, depending on what you guys want. And you'd have a Michigan fan flashing Ohio State. So either side of the rivalry you find yourself, you will get a chuckle. That's the plan. Yes, RJ, but does Michael have a daily shower thought? Oh, man. If only I could think of what my last daily shower thought was. I can't remember what I had for breakfast. Yes, I can. Breakfast. I actually had a really good uh, fried bologna with eggs on toast. Mmm, that was good. What was the last interesting shower thought I had? Because sometimes, you know, sometimes I don't have interesting shower thoughts. I don't know. They're usually fleeting thoughts. Sometimes it'll stick with me, but sometimes it doesn't stick with me. Great shot. Ohio or YMCA. Either way. I wish it wasn't fleeting. I don't want to just make one up to make you laugh. I want to be authentic. I want to be real. I want you guys to know. You know, I don't want you guys to be like, ah, he's just making that up to say that or anything, so... I think I used either a Titan or a Katana last time here because I swear I had more side spin. All right, 6.6. We're going to double the curl and just really hope we don't clip a tree with this. Okay. Come on, Christmas tree 2.0. Oh, he came in slightly to the right. A little less curl that time. No such thing as good fried bologna. I don't know, Colt. I think many may disagree with you. Oh, I have another confi confession, confession to make. I came to this conclusion late last night. If you guys know me, you know I hate the Ravens because they stole my Cleveland Browns. Well, I came to another conclusion last night. I want the Ravens to go to the Super Bowl because they deserve it. Oh, God, I didn't say that. Yes, I did. I, I honestly wonder, it is the year 19... 19? <laughs> it is the year 1919, after all. No, it is the year 2019. The Browns left in, I think, 95 or 94. We got the Browns back in 99. Took me 23 to 24 years to finally be able to say you know what they're playing awesome ball Lamar Jackson is a freak of nature hey guys Terry Lyle streaming I tried turning those things off when uh, uh, who was that Scotty Kilmer the guy I watched for like car repair advice popped up but hey start streaming when I'm streaming and you'll get a free banner across the thing because uh, I don't know how to turn those off. Oh, Chris Garner. No lie. Last night we had pizza for dinner. Uh, my pizza, which is my son's pizza, I don't care. I like feta cheese, but it had pepperoni and feta cheese. My wife's pizza has ham and pineapple on it. You know what that's called? RJ Repellent. I agree. Ham does, or not ham, uh, pe uh, pepperoni. Pineapple doesn't belong on anything. I can't stand pineapple for anything, whatever it might be. But, oh, for it to be, uh, just thinking of pineapple on pizza. It's like taking a, imagine like a sirloin steak that, like, you know how Applebee serves steak? where it comes like on that hot pan and it's still sizzling when it gets to your table. And as you stick the fork in it to cut it, 
the sizzling gets just a little bit louder. Imagine someone coming over to your steak and pouring frickin' white vinegar over it or something like that. Like dousing it. Oh, man, that's that's what pineapple does to pizza. Ah, uh, Seth Parker, if you were nearby, I'd let you steal a piece of pizza because that's exactly what we got in the fridge. And I live really close to a Marco's Pizza. And I don't know if you guys have seen, but Google's been pushing it a lot. Marco's Pizza was just rated the number one pizza chain in the United States. They're very prevalent over here. I don't know if they're prevalent everywhere in the U in the U.S. So, not only does it have your ingredients, but it's the number one rated pizza joint. It's like manna from heaven. I don't know about that. All right, last time I used a lot more curl, and I just went sailing across. This time I used a lot less, and I went f too far in the other direction. But different winds will put you in different directions. So I don't know what the wind was the last time I tried that. Kavak, are you from the U.S.? Uh-oh, Steve Dorsey loves pineapple on pizza. A grilled pineapple ring on a burger is... Gr oh, God, you just ruined burgers! Well, the good thing about that, though, the good thing I'll give you to that, I've never... Maybe I have, but I can't remember. If I did, it was like a one-time thing. Grilled pineapple might be good. Because, like, I remember before I... Like, you know, as an, as an adult, you learn to like onions. But as a kid onions are disgusting but grilled onions i you know if i go to subway i get onions raw onions i'm fine with that i can't just sit there and eat a raw onion but you know whatever maybe a grilled pineapple something tells me i might have tried that one time i'm not certain but i don't it would be grilled on a pizza because it goes through the whole conveyor belt they put it on then they cook it so not a for me not a for me uh let's see Put this page over here. We are on the last three holes, ladies and gentlemans. And we are going with the Quasar here because it's a nice cheap ball. I think we're playing well enough to make it to the weekend round. Oh, God, Marky, are you one of those people who like anchovies too my father-in-law made me buy a freaking anchovy pizza and i don't my stepfather used to like anchovies and uh used to he i'm sure he still does he uh <laughs> he would have to get his own pizza because if you get half anchovy pizza it still corrupts the rest of the pizza Can't stand anchovies. Oh, my God. I didn't like the way that camera came in. Drop! Oh, I thought that second bounce was going in the hole. That could have helped us. Marco sounds like a Spanish joint. Kind of does, yeah. Um, like I said, they're big here, but like I, I watch YouTube is my television. I don't, the only time I ever tune into antenna television is if something huge happens, like, like a nine 11 type situation or, um, I don't know if you guys remember like several, several years ago, there was an Icelandic, um, uh, volcano eruption that was like affecting air travel for, you know, like tons of countries, you know, like really big things or football. Other than that, I always watch YouTube and there was someone I think in California or something that was doing like a taste review or something and they had to drive like 20 miles away. So depending on the state you're in, 
you know, for me, I could walk to Marcos. Marcos is very close. Um, hey, Siri. How far is Marcos Pizza from me? One option is Marcos Pizza on Warrensville Center Road. Want to try that one? Well, how far away is it? Marcos Pizza is about a half mile away by car. A half mile away by car, so even for big old me, it's walking distance. Giant horse, is accuracy important on short irons at all? All right, Mark Ebrey, I'll check my email. Um, yes, but... Like, I think I know what you're getting at. I use the Thorn, which only has like 50, um, what do you call it? 50 accuracy, when I could be using the Hornet, which has like 90-something accuracy. But for me, the backspin is more important of the Hornet. I'm sorry, of the Thorn over the Hornet. Um, let me take this shot, and then I'll take a look real quick, bud. I'm just going to try to go right over here. I don't mind clipping the rough, but if I do clip the rough, it needs to be with a little top spin. 6.7 plus 10%. Take us about here. I'm hoping to barely clip the rough, not to get the rough, uh, rough bump glitch, but let's see if I did it right. I don't know if we clipped the rough there or not, but it did slow down. You guys want a little preview? Uh, you'll probably have to be on a bigger device. I'm trying to make it as big as I would be. That is Mark Hebrey's Photoshop of what I would look with all pinkish purple hair, both beard and up top. <laughs> this could be a very long week, especially going to the grocery store or wherever it is I have to go, because while I can wear a hat, what can you do about the beard? That's awesome, Mark Ebrey. All right, hole 17. Let's try this again. This is uh, another one. We keep screwing up. We're 0 for 3, but I'm not ready to, to let this one go. One went too long. Two... Bounced on the rough and didn't make it. The last one being very close to the water. But we were able to get a, a, an unbelievable save. Let's see what happens here. All right, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to adjust 15%. Perfect. So I think we're going to get the bounce we want. I was at about 90%. Now, we still came in a little on the hot side, but that's makeable. So that was worth the berserker. We are now from 0% to 25%.
So I'll take that. Yeah, Mark Ebrey for the win. I agree. It's going to be a long week. But that's okay. That is okay. It is definitely worth it. And don't forget Michael Bolton going, oh, wait, O, H. Is it I, O, O, H, I, O. That'll be awesome to see. Ooh. Oh. Unlucky. Hopefully I could bail you out here with a birdie, buddy. Right. Let's not mess this up. I'm just going dead center. Ooh, great. Both of us are holding our breath. We get the drop. I'll take that. But he still has to take his shot. Does that mean he'll get a par regardless? Because he's got to take his shot? Or will he be able to? Hopefully he gets the birdie. I got the eagle. Yeah, this shot would be for eagle. So he is going to get the birdie. So that'll be good. Get a free practice shot at it. And he saved the ball. All right. I hope he knows I was laughing with him, not at him. He laughed, so I laughed. What the heck? I feel like I'm getting arthritis or something. But I'm only 42. Mm. I tell you, I did not have a very long boxing career. But <laughs> kind of makes you wonder. All right, here we go. This is it. Am I going to? I'm going to try it. We're having such a good uh, time right now. Such a good game. I'm going to go ahead and put take the big dog out in exchange for the horizon and hopefully I hit the ball just as good and just as far so it allows me to take the same type of shot but with the horizon one thing I do want to double check on though is he said six top spin and if the big dog has more or has six top spin then I know it's going to be a little more and yeah look at that the, the big dog has 6.7 top spin so it will be full top spin which would really only be not even half a bar more but we're going to give it a shot let's see what we could do with this going to take the berserker out go with the titan hopefully end with a minus 26 should be a minus 27 but what are you going to do maybe even minus 28 but again what are you going to do Titan, 10 balls in total. Okay, I thought this was my last one, but we got another pack after this. Carpal class syndrome. Yeah, it might be. It hurts. Oh, he got a par? That would suck. Perfect shot. That's why I don't fully overpower this. Um, I shouldn't have made it on my mini account because of a shot like that, but... Let's see here. 7.4... 
push this bad boy back up. We used a little bit of overpower, not much. Perfect again. This should put us in the same exact spot, nearly. Yep, fairway starting to widen out. And now we're going, I mean, it's not much more top spin, but as you see, if we did opt to upgrade to level four, we gain like a whole nother two bars of top spin and the horizon would be the better club. And regardless of its accuracy, this is a shot where we're just trying to get on the green. We're not necessarily aiming for the hole. You know, it'd be very hard to get an albatross on this particular hole. So, yep, see, we're basically in the same spot. That's not an option, but this is. So I'm going to put the red ring over here. Hopefully this, I'm going full top spin, which is really only about a bar. Oh, crap, but I don't know what the rings are because I wasn't prepared. It's like 15 accuracy at zero accuracy. It's three per. So that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to call it zero. I'm going to go three per. We have about the same amount of curl as the big dog. We did hit perfect. I think we're safe with the adjustment of three per. And look at all that extra top spin. That is closer than it would have been with a big dog. Now, if we remember, I blew, I'm pretty sure I blew my easy chip here. Uh, this is the one where I was kind of guessing where it should be. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I'm like, how are you using that shot here? But he went into the rough and then he got much closer with his second shot. So, you know, another option on your drive if you are certain you could hit perfect a berserker a power five ball with the big topper seems like it would be a really good opportunity and then maybe you could use a uh, viper or something i'm not certain it'd be nice okay time to eyeball it and i'm going right to the outmost edge Perfect. If ever we need a perfect shot, we got it. And we got the drop. I, I should have done that the first time instead of relying on the ring method. So what is that? A minus 26? It's not where I want to be, but it should be enough to get us through to the weekend. And I believe it's a big improvement. No. I think we got a minus 13 on the opening round. Whoa, look at that minus 30 at number one. Let's take a quick peek here. Minus 12. So we improved by one stroke on the front nine, one stroke on the back nine. Um, but still two mistakes were made. We could easily be at minus 28. And minus 28 in this particular bracket would be good enough for second place right now. There's still a day and a quarter to go. And then the weekend, it gets even harder. I think we're going to have to figure out a way to get minus 30. And the way to get minus 30 is to find one of these par threes and maybe even two and dial them bad boys in. Or maybe a, an eagle on a par four. But thank you guys so much for joining me, for hanging out with me. I really, really appreciate it. If you want to mess this beautiful mug up, like I said, just find a way. Even if you just hop on social media, go to your favorite golf clash groups. Don't mention me. I'm not looking for anything in this. Just pump up Michael Bolton. It would be absolutely awesome. And for your eyes only, for your eyes only, I don't want other people knowing I'm doing this. You were here with me today. That's why I say don't mention me in any way. We'll have fun that week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. Good luck on your rounds. I will see you guys tomorrow with my expert. Ah, I just bit my cheek. With my expert account. Take care, guys. Love you.